Welcome to an intuitive reading. Today I am bringing you the Sacred Creator's Oracle by Chris N. Let me go ahead and start the reading for us today. What do you really want? I found this a very interesting thought because as, as I read for the collective, we can get really involved in so many projects and so many desires and so many opportunities that we can become overwhelmed and overloaded. What do you really want? Not what you think other people want, but what do you want? What's possible? What else is possible? Bringing you the next card, you, the muse. I actually wanted to um, check the book on this one because there's a couple of, couple, couple of different ways. Yes, the muse is our intuitive, creative self. And I, that was the direction I was taking because we can be creative about what we really want. And often we'll think creative. This is an artwork. This is um, a piece of music. Our creative self can be bringing a family. It can be bringing a friendship into existence. It can be bringing an object into creativity in the three-dimensional. It can also be trusting your intuition. It can be building a business. It's about being unlimited. What else is possible? Which, back to the Muse card, one of the things that really surprised me on the Muse card, when I look at the self-care message on it, being overly dramatic. The more we follow our intuition, the less we have to put on airs or bring ourselves above other people or places or things. The more we surround ourselves with the things that make us happy and give us inspiration, the more we can appreciate our muse. What lights you up right now? Moving on to the next card. What does your soul say? I always love the way the cards bring themselves together. So much of what we really want, when we follow our intuition, it allows us to tune into what is really going on in our heart, where we want to be what's going on because our soul always knows part of what we need to look at is our thoughts not just our intuition but our thoughts are we really working for our positive <laughs> That's always a good card to, to reconnect with because it's so easy to get our script switched on us again and we go back to what we think other people want. The judgments that we have learned from the world, the judgments we place on ourselves. Let's go ahead and look at What's your primary motivation? Think about what you're creating. Think about what's your heart call. And when your soul matches up, you're on to rack. This can be profoundly unsettling 
at times because you realize you've invested all of this time and you don't like the path you're on. It can also be incredibly unlifting, uplifting because you realize you are on track. Again, this is for the collective. Take what leaves, take what resonates and leave the rest.